transferring to the district to operations. The local government finance commission has had a two-week-long negotiation exercise with line ministries on conditional grants for financial year 2023-2024. The participating line ministries here included that of agriculture, animal industry and fisheries, health, trade, water and environment, education, tourism, works and transport, lands and urban development, and gender, labor and social development. The money going to local governments, the bulk of it are conditional grants. In fact, 95% of it is conditional grants. This financial year, the, out of the total budget of five, 52 trillions, uh, about 5.4 trillion is always appropriated to go directly to local governments. The Commission, together with line ministries, agreed on 20 programs to be handled in the financial year 2023-2024, which include agro-industrialization, mineral development, sustainable petroleum development, manufacturing, natural resources, environment, climate change, land and water, digital transformation community mobilization and mindset change, among others. But out of the 5.4 trillion, as I have already said, 95% are conditional grants. And that's why this exercise becomes very important, because the constitution is clear that money is going to local governments as conditional grants. To finance programs have to be agreed. The programs and the conditions attached must be agreed in between the local government people implementing the programs and the line ministries which are managing those programs. The chairperson of the commission, Isaac Isanga Musumba, cautioned local government officials who are paying less attention to their offices, citing an example of a mega school constructed in the middle of a forest. In the middle of the forest, in Mavira Forest, there is a school, a fully built and run secondary school body. In the middle of the forest, there is a new road coming from the tarmac going to that school with a huge signpost that there is this school here. So, where is the cow? Who licenses secondary schools to operate and does so by licensing them to operate in the middle of a protected area. Musumba encouraged local government to find mechanisms of increasing local revenue, which will supplement service delivery. So, I would like to see every district leadership, every uh, municipal leadership, every city leadership, draw a plan on how they are going to improve their local revenue. So that we can discuss with them any constraints they require and how they are going to be helped. The president of Uganda Local Government Association, Richard Drabuhinga, raised concerns over bureaucracy in procuring funds, which has led to delayed service delivery. He is advocating for full decentralization of intergovernmental fiscal transfer projects. We call for full decentralization of the intergovernmental fiscal transfer projects in uh, secondary schools and in the health sector. This hybrid procurement that we have been talking about with the Minister of Finance, Minister of Health and Education is a very big roadblock to the implementation of NRA manifesto. Mary Namkose, UBC News. Thank you for